Hi everyone, Freddy Tech back with another video and today I'm back with a video on YouTube TV and this is about the comparison with DirecTV Stream with their base entertainment package. But first I'd like to start off with YouTube TV and look at the listing here, the base plan. And what do you notice about the channels that begin with A? Well, there's ABC and there's AMC, but there's no A and E. And that's been like that for as long as I can remember. I don't believe they've ever offered that channel, which is rather interesting, being it has been a very popular cable network for many years. And I don't know what the deal is. Obviously, it comes down to some kind of money situation or agreement, carriage agreement. Or there's some executive that doesn't like another executive. We don't know what the situation may be exactly. But it is interesting because it is available pretty much on every other live TV streaming service and cable system. So it's very unusual to see that. So if you're an A&E fan, you're out of luck on YouTube TV. So you'd have to find a different service. But other than that, they do carry a good amount of all of the popular networks as you see here I'm not going to go through them all because they are visual and you can see them and you can store these and you can pause this and you can do comparisons um, with what I'm going to show with direct TV stream now when you look at this all of the major news networks are there um, we know now no MLB network that's a big one for a lot of Major League Baseball fans that there is no MLB network for the start of the season which is just a couple of days away for the regular season there's still no agreement now do i think they'll come to agreement yes when it's just a question this looked like it was going to be a long battle now we'll see lots of money's involved you know that youtube tv would love to have it on its platform because they're losing subscribers they have lost subscribers because of this and we know mlb wants their product on as many systems as possible more exposure the better for the sponsors so it makes sense for everybody involved to come to an agreement so we'll see what happens it should happen soon i would think hard to say when but again so much money is involved both sides are i'm sure anxious to get this resolved and the fans are too of course they're the ones that suffer the most because they're just the fans paying for the service and they want to have a little enjoyment so as you can see um, a lot of the major networks are listed you got the food network you got hgtv you got all the major news networks you have Hallmarks there. You got three Hallmark channels. You got, um, let's see, MTVs, the f several of those. You got Nat Geo, Nat Geo Wild, Oxygen, Oxygen True Crime, Own Channel. So the list goes on. It's a fairly sizable list, about 100 channels. There's definitely some fluff in there as well. So every system, every service does that as well. Channels that you may not watch. Some of them are free on other free streaming platforms like Pluto or Samsung smart TVs so you know they fill it up but most of the channels on here are the most popular cable networks now there's no cooking channel and a few others on here like DIY I don't believe is on here if you watch that network um, so you know they do get away with it for the price they're charging now it's seventy two ninety nine but it is for sure competitive, but losing MLB Network for baseball fans, that does not make them competitive, <laughs> so that's for sure. So until they get that back, the baseball fans are going to be definitely grumpy, and they don't want to leave the service, I'm sure, if they really like YouTube TV, but some of them are forced to, and maybe they get it back, so we'll see what happens. So that's the lineup for YouTube TV. We'll be taking a look at DirecTV Stream Entertainment Package next. Okay, we have the DirecTV Stream um, information up now on what they offer in regards to their base package. And we're going to focus on the left column here, and that's the entertainment package with 75-plus channels. So they do come in a little, a little lower than YouTube TV, but, and this also comes in at $74.99 for the entertainment package. Now, when you go down this list here, um, what do you notice? Well, you notice they have A&E, which uh, YouTube TV does not offer. And they do have um, quite a few of the popular channels, of course. And they have Access TV, which I don't believe they have on YouTube TV. They also have all of the major news networks in the entertainment package. I'm going to scroll through this list here slowly, and you can stop and pause. Now, I can tell you right off the bat... Um, that they don't have 
um, some channels as well. When you look at Destination America, that is not also on YouTube TV, so they both don't have that. So Discovery Life. So you are very close as far as some of the channels that are not available as far as what's on both services for their base packages. There's the major news network showing there. And you also have no FYI on the uh, entertainment package. So both services do not have that. Now, Hallmark, you have two channels. Actually, you have all three here as well. So that's a, a competitive um, match as far as that goes. And you also um, have, oh, HSN. Well, that's a free channel to pretty much anywhere. Another fluff channel. You don't need it. JTV, Jewelry TV. Not many people of that interest. There are people interested in that. I'm not going to say there aren't. Because there are people. There is an audience, obviously, if it's on the system, right? And on this entertainment package, no MLB. You have to go, of course, to the choice package at $99.99. So, you know, you're not getting MLB on the on the entertainment, but you have to go bump up to the choice, and you're going to be paying basically about $25 more a month with the MLB network added. So there is a price to pay. And on here, you do not get MTV Classic, and you do on YouTube TV. Now, on this, you don't get Nat Geo Wild on the entertainment package. So, YouTube TV's got them beat there. Interesting. And let's see here. Now, Own is not on here. And Oxygen True Crime is not on here. We did see that on the YouTube TV base package. So, giving you a few comparisons right now. Now, here's a big one for the On Patrol Live fan that is the docu series that follows police departments around the country on Friday and Saturday nights uh, live they do go on calls with them on this show it's a very popular docu series well it's on reels network and you get that on the base entertainment package and YouTube TV does not offer it so if you're a fan of that show and you like say a and e network well YouTube TV is not going to work for you so <laughs> so you know this is it's a matter of what you like. You have to scroll through this as an individual. There is probably going to be something missing from almost every service unless you spend a fortune per month. And most people do not want to do that, especially if they cut the cord. So, But cord cutting, I think that comparison, those days are almost behind us. The days of $35, $45, $55 a month streaming live TV and getting a 75 to 100 packages, uh, 100 channels, those days are in the rearview mirror. We're never going to see that again. Sorry to disappoint you. I'd love to see it myself, but those days are long. So you're looking at it easily $75 to $100 at the current rate for a fairly decent TV package. So there you have it. Um, now these are all the extras, uh, premium channels listed here. Actually, down here they have TBS, TCM, and no weather channel until the choice package. That's another one you don't get on here versus the uh, base package for YouTube TV. So just right off the bat, looking at this here, it's pre pretty easy to determine if you look at one service and what they offer and then look at the other you can point out several channels that stick out that are not available on one versus the other um, so you know it's again matter a matter of what you really want you have to go through this as the consumer to see what you're getting for your money but just wanted to open the eyes on this and show you you know some people may not realize that a and e is not available on youtube tv um, but it truly isn't, um, surprisingly. But there you have it. So let me know what you think of the two package comparisons. And I'm going to have the price list now up for you. And some of the things that could be better on both platforms. So you can weigh that out as well before you make your decision. Or if you decide to switch from one to the other. So, you know, it's just a matter if you like sports and if you like 
all of the major networks that are popular, like news networks, well, they both have those for the most part. So that's a good thing if you're a fan of the major news networks. Sports, you have to be careful because sometimes they're not on one. Now, you don't get us RSNs on the entertainment package. You get that on the choice package with DirecTV Stream. So you have to spend around 100 bucks per month to get the sports that you really want if you're a DirecTV Stream customer. So that's something to keep in mind. Your $75 will not get you too much in the way of sports as far as baseball and NHL. and um, They don't have NFL Network on, on uh, DirecTV Stream, which is another thing to point out. Um, that's an interesting thing, especially when they did have NFL Sunday Ticket. You would think they would have had NFL Network. Now they don't have the NFL Sunday Ticket. It's on YouTube TV. Probably not going to see NFL Network. Or possibly they may be able to strike a deal, but I don't know about license and rights for that. They may not have the uh, option to do that. So we'll see what happens come football season for that. But let's first get through the baseball season and see what happens with YouTube TV and their dispute with MLB. And hopefully the baseball fans will get what they want. So now we'll take a look at YouTube TV base plan details. Now the price of this service will be $72.99 monthly. 100 plus channels, unlimited cloud DVR, three screens allowed simultaneously, local channels, and recordings can be stored up to nine months, which is nice. So that will be something you will see that is similar to DirecTV Stream's offering. Now we'll go to that now, and we'll see DirecTV Stream base plan starts at a price of $74.99 per month. They have 75 plus channels, unlimited cloud DVR as well up to 20 streams at home, which is quite a bit, which is really nice. You have a larger family and offers their own streaming device, which is unique. And recordings can also be stored up to nine months in the cloud. And you'll see here the device, what it looks like. Now, this device has some benefits, um, a dedicated DVR list button, which is really nice. You go right to your DVR. Channel change to toggle, which is nice. You can scroll through channels really easily with the up and down toggle. Google Assistant button. So it has the mic for the Google Assistant, and that works really nice. And it costs about $125 brand new, and you can get a reconditioned, certified reconditioned for about $75 now directly from them, which is nice. So to recap in more details, DirecTV Stream, the box itself is running Android. So you are able to have additional apps on it, which makes this device nice, especially if you do not have any other streaming device such as a Roku, Apple TV, or Fire Stick. Now, both services do have some trial periods that you could check out on their website. They do change sometimes, so I'm not going to mention what they are exactly, but they do have about a week or so or even three days. Um, there also are promotions, which is like $10 off right now for DirecTV Stream for the first 12 months if you get the device from them and any of their packages. YouTube TV, at the time of this video, does have $10 off for the first three months for new customers. And premium channels are available like HBO Max and Stars, And it's the same thing for DirecTV Stream. But of course, they, they will charge you for those services, that's for sure. Or channels, that is. Um, they will definitely charge you. Now, DirecTV will not be getting Sunday NFL ticket or NFL Sunday ticket. YouTube TV will be. So be on the lookout for that. So what are your thoughts on these two services? Which one do you like the best? Do you have any of these? And let us know in the comments down below. And again, this is streaming and not anything to do with satellites. So to avoid any confusion with DirecTV, this is not a satellite. Some people get confused. This is streaming. Just want to make clear with that. And let me know what you guys think. Please post down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Freddy Tech checking in on this one. Catch you soon in the next one. Take care.